are at my gyno TMI I guess but I'm here for a blood test I'll explain more later after appointment because I have to go inside right now but I'm getting my hormones tested so see you after the appointment we just left the blood place I got my blood drawn we're at Starbucks now because I am starving and Amanda wants to get this workout in before my next appointment so I have to get food and hurry up and go work out which I really wanted coffee from another place but I don't like the food there and I rather the food here. So I was like, might as well just hit a call here. No point in making two subs. Here we are. I have a pretty busy day to today. So I thought I would take you guys along. Hi, thanks for choosing Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hi, can I get a grande um, vanilla sea cream nitro cold brew and a sausage cheddar and egg sandwich? I'm real sorry, friend, but I don't have that sandwich. Uh, would you like to do maybe a bacon food instead? Uh, sure, that works. A nitro cold brew. I had to ask her to add ice at the window because I forgot. I always like it with ice. Our sandwich. The bacon's in there. You just can't see it. And then I got some water so I can fill this up. this on my way to the gym. tests and everything so i've been having problems for a few years now so no i'm not pregnant because this happens this has been happening to me for like three or four years i just been having problems with like being nauseous all the time i'll wake up nauseous i'll go to sleep nauseous i'm, I'm nauseous throughout the day and it gets worse sometimes i'm not nauseous but like i'm hungry and i can't eat because i'm nauseous that i know it's not normal and i have been knowing that for years but i'm just like at my wits end with it i'm also having trouble sleeping i can't go to sleep till really late at night i can stay asleep sleep fine I just can't go to sleep and even like if I do every now and then and I sleep for eight or nine hours I still wake up exhausted throughout the day whenever I eat breakfast and I go work out I still feel extremely weak there's something wrong because that is not normal I don't know if it's my estrogen levels I don't know if it's progesterone or cortisol or thyroid or something I don't know, but I figured I'd just do the test and try to figure it out what it is. Just because once me and Tyson do want to get pregnant, I want to make sure that everything is okay and I'm running good inside. So that is the update on that. We are now at my shop. I have a new client and I'm doing curtains for her. The fabric's not in yet, but I'm going to start on my lining. That way, whenever the curtains come in, I just have to worry about the fabric and putting the two together.
five more times. Now, I can't finish my work because I did three. I had to cut six of them. I did three. I was on my fourth. And guess what? There is a gigantic defect in the fabric. I can't even believe that this is happening. So I needed 28 yards or something of lining. And what they do is they take the roll of fabric and they roll it back onto another spool. And that's how you get your whatever. So they should have seen this and they should have like stopped it. I, I'm not sure. This fabric is ivory. I don't know if they're going to be able to tell in the camera. And they said that they had 55 yards of this. I needed 27, 28, whatever it was. Well... They didn't have 55 yards of it. They had yards of different fabric and they sewed it together. So this is what it looks like. So there's this huge seam in the fabric, which that, that cannot be there. Okay, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell in the camera, but this is like a whiter and this is like an ivory. This is considered ivory, but it's just like two different, this is why you have to get one roll of everything because the dyes can be so different. So not only that, but then there's also this gap of length, and there's also it on that side. So we're missing about nearly two inches of width on this fabric, and it's sewn together, and not very good, might I add. Like this is, this is not very well. Oh, and also, I tried to scrub it off, but there's also a dead bug that was right here. So I tried to scratch it off, so now this is also dyed. And I did my three panels already. I just wasted an hour of time doing all of this. I have to roll everything back up, I have to go back to the store and return it all because I can't have two different colors of fabric. I, they all have to be the same. It's all the same curtain. Hopefully they don't give me trouble about it. If y'all are ever wondering why fabric is so expensive, this is why. Expensive fabric at expensive stores would never have this problem. That's my day. We're gonna edit here, end it here for this part of the video because I'm a little angry and I'm very hungry, so I'm sure the two are not mixing well. And I'll see y'all after I eat or tomorrow. All right. Hey guys, better mood next day. <laughs> I'm going drop off a package that I have to return and then we have to go back to the fabric store so I could return the messed up fabric. So let's do that. Everything went well. They rolled me the new fabric. It happens to be the same color, so now I don't have to redo the old panels they just gave me the new one of what was defected i'm very happy that went smoothly i have to go back to my client's house because she wants another project done so i'm going to measure for that now and then we're gonna get coffee because i have a banging headache let's go measure this location has the best like i swear they make it the best beautiful i have a job interview tomorrow me and tyson were going to get a house before we got married things just you know get in the way of that so unfortunately we won't be doing that but we are still moving out so long story short my aunt's buying a house she can't move into it till next year so she's asking us to move in so that we can keep it up for her until they're able to move in next year me and Tyson are moving next month we'll be living there for a year and by that time hopefully everything that was getting in the way will be out of the way and me and Tyson will be able to get our own house. I'm actually very grateful for this opportunity. It actually helps out a lot. I got a job because I do work on commission and I do work on like if I have a client and because my business is new, I don't just, I don't have steady word of mouth or steady clients coming in. So I do need a job that I have consistent money and then I'll work on my side business. And hopefully by the end of the year, I will have clientele that I am looking for and that way I don't need a job but yeah so I'm actually really excited I do have some clients and I do have some jobs in the making and I will continue working on them either after I get off of work or on the weekends or both I'm gonna just have to really really work this year which is okay I'm okay with that we don't have kids yet so it's not like I have to be home to put them to bed or anything I haven't decided if I'm going to the gym or not yet I will I just don't know what time yeah I'll let y'all know what we do okay guys little update I went on a job interview today. I have a shadowing with them on Tuesday. I don't know if I'm gonna take it or not. There's a lot of pros and cons. I'm really just worried about being overwhelmed with that kind of work and with what I do. There's that aspect. I applied to some other jobs. I'm hoping to hear back from them before I go on the sh job shadow. You have that, y'all pray for me. Y'all are gonna see this probably after it's already all done, so. Whatever. Right now I'm at the shop and I'm finishing up all of my lining. 
So I cut it all right now. I'm about to sew the pieces together. And then depending on what time I finish that, I'll probably like completely finish the lining. Tomorrow, the fabric's getting delivered so I can start on that. But I don't know if I wanna wait until my nanny gets back to do that or if I'm just gonna be ballsy and do it myself. Try to fix this sewing machine so I can sew some pieces together. Going in for a job shadowing for a job that I'm not going to take, but it's polite to still come. So here I am at nine in the morning at my job shadowing. I think it'll be about an hour, but I have a job interview later for a job that I may take. So we're just here to be nice. So we'll go in there and I'll see you guys after. Okay, guys, I'm back from my job shadowing. I had to stand. For an hour and a half, which I have like a permanent back injury. So like standing still, walking around for an hour and a half, not a problem. Standing still for an hour and a half hurts. I was in pain like most of the time, but we're home now and I'm getting ready for my job interview today, later today, that I probably will be taking, but I want to go get some coffee. I don't want to have to like rush home and everything. So I'm gonna just do my makeup now. That way, whenever we go get coffee, I could just relax and have some coffee. I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is literally the last that I have. So, I have to go get some more. So, my eyebrows, like, I do them kind of crazy at first, and then I, like, I clean them up and stuff. Like, if I walked around like this, that'd be crazy. But it's a lot harder to do them whenever my eyebrows aren't waxed. Like, you can't really tell that much, but all this is full of hair and all that's full of hair. So like, I can't tell. It's just kind of frustrating. I actually hate doing my eyebrows. One of my best friends is an esthetician and she is going to wax, laminate, and tint my eyebrows, which I'm so excited for because I'll probably end up doing that for the wedding, but I want like a trial because I've never done it before. I'm really hungry right now and I haven't had coffee either. I use Morphe 2 foundation or it's not even foundation it's skin tint but I, i'm not a fan of foundation i don't like heavy on my face i like my freckles to show through this is just light enough for that i can wear it all day tell on the camera my camera is just not great quality by the way but like you can still see all my freckles and everything like it's just enough that everything in my face is the same tone. I am a pale girl. This is Hint of Marshmallow and this is a Peak of Pearl concealer. It's the same line, Morphe 2. If you don't know, Morphe 2 is like a cruelty-free line out of Morphe. To be honest, that's not why I use it. I just like the, I just like how it blends together and how it feels on my skin. And again, it's not full coverage. I am not a full coverage girl at all. Don't like full coverage. I don't like heavy makeup. So that is really good for girls who don't like full coverage. For my contour, I use the NYX Wonder Stick. Honestly, I just asked the lady for a cream stick that'll blend well. And this is the first one she gave me and I haven't changed since. It ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? Oh, by the way, I'm using the Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Butter. My bronzer, I use the Hoola bronzer. I want to change from this one, but they only had this size. I was going to get the small one, but they only had this size. So I have to use it all. This one just doesn't blend very well. Then we go on to blush. I prefer a cream blush, but I ran out a while ago. So now I only have this. Next, I do highlighter. Champagne Glow from Tarte. Then I'm not going to bore you with how I put on my mascara. But I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Base and Carbon Black. So this is just a primer. I don't know if you saw my TikTok, but if you're not using a primer, you're missing out. These things, I will never put on mascara without primer again. But yeah, I just put this on, then I put this on over it. I don't let it dry. I think it doesn't look as good whenever it dry, so I just put the black right over it. Okay, hair is done, makeup is done. I'm not dressed in my interview outfit because I'm going to a coffee shop with my sister just because there's time and I'm really feeling a good latte. 
So I was like, well, I haven't been there. I've been there one time a long time ago. So I was like, it's time to go back. I'm just ready for the vibes. And I'll probably leave from there and go to the interview. I have my clothes in the car. at two o'clock and right now it's like 1 35 so i just got here a little early i had to change my car so there's that but yep ready maybe ready to go so i left the job interview i went home changed and now we're at target i have to get some stuff for my dad's office and some stuff to make some i'm doing like a mixologist competition this saturday so we're doing that too but the interview went really well i'll go back tomorrow for like kind of again like a shadowing just to see what I would be doing but I'm like 90% sure I got the job I know the people very well so I think that had a lot to do with it but I'm so excited like I'm so happy that I decided to get to keep pushing and not settle for a job that I like I kind of didn't want my makeup is like being weird but yeah so we're in Target now I have to get some stuff and then we're gonna go a few doors down to the liquor store okay guys long it's been a really really long day I am now at my parents' house. I'm making some noodles for some leftover spaghetti because I'm starving. All I had today was that bagel and coffee. So very, very hungry. After we eat, the girl should be over to test my alcohol that I'm making. I think it's going to be really good. Hopefully it is. That's it for now. I'm, I have a headache. I haven't eaten. So I haven't had any protein at all. Like it's just it's been a very very long day and i've been up since seven which i know is not very early but if you know me i don't sleep at night and to get up that early and like to constantly be on the go today was just very hard and with no meal i don't know what i was thinking can't wait for some spaghetti so i just left my shadowing thing and i officially got the job <laughs> i'm so excited i'm whispering because my sister is still sleeping but is the first job that I'm excited about and just the environment over there it's amazing like uh, I just I'm so excited and on that note thank you guys so much for watching I know this vlog was all over the place but I guess that's just my theme because that seems to be how all the rest of my vlogs are so love you guys see you next time